Welcome to episode 16 of PVTV, where we talk all things solar. On today's episode, we're discussing the difference between AC solar batteries and DC solar batteries. Yep. What's the difference, Ross, between an AC solar battery and a DC solar battery? Well, technically, all batteries are DC. What? So they store DC power. The terminology AC battery or DC battery refers to how does the battery charge from the solar panels. Okay, so how does a DC solar battery uh, charge from the solar panels versus how does an AC solar battery charge from the solar panels? Yeah, cool. So, I mean, we'll probably start with how does the solar panels even work and get power to the inverter. So, when the sun hits your solar panels, mm -hmm. your panels will actually produce DC power. Mm -hmm. Now, we can't use DC power in our homes. We use AC power. Mm -hmm. So, that's where we install an inverter. Mm -hmm. So, the solar panels then produce DC power, they go to an inverter, mm -hmm. the inverter converts to AC, and then we can use it in our houses. Great, and where does the battery fit into this? So a DC battery can actually connect to the panels as well. Mm -hmm. So they can connect directly to the panel, so DC battery, DC panels, oh. it doesn't need to convert to AC before. It stores it. It stores it, it stores, the de it stores your sun power directly. Amazing, so a DC battery, uh, you're saying, flows straight into the battery. Uh, yeah. DC, DC battery takes power directly from your solar panels yep. and stores it as DC power. Yeah, exactly So there's right. no conversion or, or power yeah. losses or anything like that. Exactly yeah. right. So that's a good a good point. When you do convert, you do lose a little bit of power. Okay. So when you go from DC to AC or vice versa. So it's a it's very efficient way of charging your battery because it's going straight from DC solar panels straight to the DC battery. Great, and it's, it's worth noting too, because when you take power, DC power from your solar panels yeah. and your solar inverter converts that into AC power for your house, you actually lose a bit of efficiency there. Yeah, so which is power loss there. Which yeah. is why the less conversions we can do, the better. Yeah. And storing that power directly from DC panels to DC battery is a really efficient way to store electrical power. Correct. Now, when we move on to AC and we talk about AC solar batteries, um, what's the, what, how do these charge compared to DC? So, I mean, the biggest difference is an AC battery will charge by reading excess solar power from your switchboard. Okay. So there's a little computer in the, in the battery inverter that monitors your switchboard. So this is a battery inverter? It's a battery inverter. And as soon as that computer starts to detect that you're about to send power to the grid, mm -hmm. it re-diverts it to the battery inverter and charges the battery. Gotcha. So this battery inverter is always monitoring your switchboard in yeah. your house. And when it detects that there's extra solar power flowing through the house, it'll actually convert that AC power back to DC power yeah. and save it in the in your solar battery. Exactly right. So it's a bit of a, a, a more roundabout way to do it. It's a more roundabout way to do it, yeah. And does that mean, because of, how many times is this power converting? I think that's a good question. Yeah, so you've got uh, three conversions happening here. So the first conversion is when your solar panels... Mm -hmm. Firstly, convert to become usable power through your solar inverter. Okay, so conversion one is DC panel power to AC power for the house. Yep. One conversion. Conversion two, AC power back to DC power to charge your battery. So then this battery inverter reads that excess AC, converts it to DC, yep. and saves it in the battery. Yeah. So now we've got two conversions. And now when you want to use that battery power, you've then got to convert it back from DC power back to AC power. So three conversions, so it needs to convert back when you want to use it. Yeah. Now, that's opposed to DC where it just takes the power, stores it directly via DC, and then converts it to AC, which is one conversion. Yeah. So DC batteries convert the power once, AC batteries convert the power three times. Yes. Which is a big difference. Yeah. What does this do for the efficiency? Well, overall? I mean, just say on rough numbers, we every conversion we lose maybe about 5%. Okay. So 5% on a, on a DC battery system times that by three, we could be looking at you know, 10 to 15% on a um, AC battery system. So DC is more efficient by a, roughly 10 to 15% on average uh, versus the, all the conversions that you do when using an AC battery. Now, it begs the question, why would we ever want to use uh, an AC battery? Yeah, so I mean, there's two really good reasons to use an AC battery. The first one being they are compatible with any solar system. Any home can it, can get an AC battery because it's, it's going through the switchboard. It's going through the switchboard, not through the solar. So if I've got say a, a solar system that's ten years old, yeah, I can actually add a battery onto that. Yeah, an AC battery onto that. Yeah, because it plugs straight into the switchboard. It doesn't 
Um, even it doesn't care what solar system you've got, it's just monitoring the excess power of that solar system. Right, that's pretty cool. So while you might lose a bit of efficiency, you can actually retrofit it to any solar system. Yeah. So technically, really, any solar system is battery ready. Yeah. In a, in a, in in a way. Yeah. Yeah. Um, the second reason is power output. So you've essentially got two inverters now. You've got your solar inverter that's mm -hmm. doing your solar panels, and you've got a battery inverter. So separately. Separately. So let's just say, for example, the house needed um, seven kilowatts of power mm -hmm. at some at what you turn on the oven, you turn on the kettle. And it could house. take five from the solar, yeah, and two from the battery inverter. Exactly right. So you get more output limit yeah. from having uh, an AC coupled battery. Yeah. Overall, but that's a lot of power. So most people won't need more than their more than say five kilowatts at a time. Yeah. Which even if you've got them, uh, if you've got the, a DC battery. Uh, with solar in the one sort of unit, it can still put out five kilowatts a lot of on average, which yeah. is which is heaps. Yeah. So you know, at the end of the day, they're just different. One's not better than the other, yeah. and they both work for different scenarios. So. Cool. Thanks for watching episode sixteen of PV TV. If you get any more questions about solar and batteries, leave them in the comments below, and we'll answer them for you soon. Take care.